Yeah, I do think we're we're kind of in entering a world that is going to feel that tension really hard. And I think that when it comes to anything, um, whether it's a you know, political campaign or whether that's a it's a conflict here or, or abroad, people are going to naturally question what the narrative is. And there's another concept called the liar's dividend, which it means you show people enough things like deep fakes and everything else, and they do start to question reality. reality. And then the person that benefits most from that is the bad actor, because as soon as they do something that gets caught on tape, all they have to say, and we heard that in a couple campaign cycles already, all they have to say is, well, that wasn't me, that was a deep fake. And all of a sudden, you, you almost have to give the person the benefit of the doubt while you do an investigation. Same thing around the world. You know, that wasn't us that did a missile strike. There, there was no missile strike. There was no terrorist event. There was no whatever the thing is. That was AI generated, um, and it's just the you know media company X, media company whatever is trying is trying to fill you know fill your brain with their narrative. Um, and I don't know that society is really ready for that level of needing to do your own personal investigations on stuff. I think a lot of people are just gonna have to throw, are gonna, gonna feel like their only option is to throw up their hands and disengage.